Right now, the 13,000 people battling drug addiction in Central Texas don't have anywhere to go and stay overnight for long-term treatment, but that's about to change. A new treatment center in Waco will start accepting patients next week. KCEN HD News reporter Rebecca Schleicher takes us inside the Senecor Drug Rehab Center and shows us what this could mean for the greater community. With a quick snip, the doors officially open to a place that's one of a kind in Waco. A place where former drug addict Eric Jeter landed after two decades spinning out of control. Drugs and alcohol began as like, a, you know, just in high school. It was just, back then I just considered it partying. There's three groups rooms. The big one seats about 40 and these seat around 20 each. This is Senecor. It's now the only live-in drug rehab center between Austin and Dallas, and its Fort Worth location took Eric in at the worst time in his life. In the 90s, uh, I just got really addicted to methamphetamines, and it really started having consequences on my life. You know, it cost me my marriage, and eventually my job, and eventually I was incarcerated. None of the rooms are private. You may ask why. It's that we found that there's a lot of therapeutic value when folks realize there's others. Uh, that are addicted. He says people are already excited. More than half the 59 beds are spoken for on the waiting list. We had a gentleman walk in this morning, literally had walked here to the facility, says he's addicted to heroin. Uh, he's down right now, but he wants to detox and uh, would like to get in as soon as possible. So we got his name and number and information. He'll probably be one of the first patients in here. And not just addicts, the center can benefit the entire community. Being able to have a facility that will get at the heart of some type of substance abuse in a lot of ways helps to combat crime because what you find is a lot of crime centers around that substance abuse. Bottom line, they say it works. They told me when I went there that do what we ask you to do, follow the rules and guidelines of the program and your life will be returned to you. And it was, you know. Giving people the opportunity to change their lives for the better. Rebecca Schleicher, KCEN HD News. And we're told the facility plans to accept patients for their month-long program on Monday, and the three- to seven-day detox wing should open a week later. Now, for more information on the treatment center, just visit our website, kcentv.com, and click on the Now button.